So what are his stock picks? Joining us is David Katz. He's the CIO of Matrix Asset Advisors. David, could you explain it and welcome whether you agree with Stephen about the subpar growth outlook we're headed into, or do you think regardless it's already priced in here? We think a lot of everything is priced in here, and we're a lot more optimistic that the Fed is actually getting its job done, and we're hopeful that the economy can weather it. Uh, we spoke with a lot of banks this week, and what they're seeing is very strong consumers, strong corporations. So we think it's a tightrope, but the Fed is going to be able to do it. Regardless, a lot of it's priced in. You've had a 10% markdown pretty much across the board so far this month, and that's large cap, small cap, growth, value, all sectors. So stocks have just been marked down. We think if you take a longer term view, you look at like six to 12 months, there are a lot of great businesses that are selling at 10 to 12 to 14 times earnings. Historically, when you've been able to find that, you do very well if you have that six to 12 month time horizon. So we think the key to success here is not to focus on the day to day because you see the market schizophrenic, focus on the longer term, try to take advantage of these down drafts. So in other words, on a day where some are declaring defeat, you know, and saying, we are, you know, the recession is now baked in and it's the Fed's fault. You're looking at this and almost saying you're declaring victory. The market has now repriced, valuations have reset, and perhaps this can now pave the way for the beginning of a, I don't want to call it a comeback, but that tells you how bearish things have gotten. Well, we've gotten beaten up every day for the last month. I wouldn't say victory, but you're, you're right in terms of we think that the uh, market has priced in a lot of these negatives. And if you look at six to 12 months, things are not going to be as bad uh, as they seem right now. We do think that uh, the seeds of having inflation start to go down are starting to take hold. You're seeing a lot of companies that are saying they're slowing their hiring, they're freezing their hiring, they're laying off some people. The housing market is going to slow. When you take the 30-year mortgage from 3% to 6%, it's going to slow down. The people that were paying cash, they were using their winnings from either technology or cryptocurrency. They're going to go away. So we think a lot of things are in place to slow down uh, inflation. We think as that happens, the Fed hopefully is going to be a little bit less aggressive late next year. But there are lots of really good businesses right now that you're getting at good prices. And again, when you're buying a company, you're buying the business for the longer term. Don't get caught up in the day to day swings because we think a lot of that is just over emotional and it's creating those opportunities. And you have an eclectic group of companies you're buying here. Some of them people would be nervous about a name like Starbucks because of the consumer exposure or the business revamp booking when the travel stocks have been struggling. Tell me, what's the common theme here? These are all really good businesses and good industries, market leaders. The stocks have all been beaten up. They're down 20 to 40 percent. You're getting with very attractive prices. Let's take Starbucks, for example. That's down from 110 to 72. CEO Schultz, uh, who just came back, bought $15 million worth of stock at these current levels. Uh, and what he said is that demand has outpaced the infrastructure, so he's got to build better in terms of their stores. Uh, very, very good long-term prospects, and you're getting it at a great discount. In terms of bookings, uh, people are moving from the stay-at-home economy back to getting back to life, uh, going to sporting venues, travel, restaurants, all plays well for bookings, yet you're getting it at a great discount. That stock has been hammered in the last few weeks. Their earnings prospects are very good. On next year's earnings, it's under 15 times earnings. And for a growth company, we think that's a very attractive price.